Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of season 4 here at Newcastle. We're in November, so we're already starting to think about the January transfer window, although we have a very busy month of December for tomorrow's episode. But today, we've Besiktas in the group stage of the Champions League, followed by Huddersfield. I'm going to simulate both of these, and the three games we're going to play this month are Stoke away, Rapid Vienna in the Champions League, and then Everton at home, because Everton are right up there near us in the Premier League. So we're going to start off by simulating the home game against Besiktas, and hopefully we can get some decent results today. We're in good form. We got a couple of tremendous wins in yesterday's episode. If you missed them, do make sure you check the channel page for them and check them out because we did particularly well both in the simulated games and in the ones that we played, particularly in the ones that we played. Some really high quality goals as well, to be fair. We're tuned up here just after half time. Those Zhao Cancelo and Jamal Lassell scoring the goals, having to rely on defenders. And now the midfield chips in. And the midfield chips in again. Newcastle 4, Besiktas 0. Oshie Cook picked up a knock for them, but no injuries for us, thankfully. Marcus Rashford has been out recently with uh, a slight injury, but he was uh, fit and able to take part in the final game of the yesterday's episode. And actually did particularly well in it, to be completely honest. We've got Uruguay offering me the international manager's job. No thank you. Now, the gap to Liverpool is just six points. They dropped some points at the end of the last episode, and we closed the gap. We've... Huddersfield here, and then it's a full two-week break until Stoke. So uh, we shall simulate this game as well, also at home. So in theory, the home game should be the ones that you stand a better chance of winning if you simulate. That's always been the case with FIFA. For some reason, if you sim an away game, you stand a worse chance of winning. I guess in real life, you tend to say home form is better than away form, but in FIFA terms, it just doesn't really matter that much because normally you're the one... Uh, playing the games, but Philip and Rashford both with a brace here as we push towards full time. Are either of them going to get a hat-trick? They're not, but Vinicius Junior is going to pick up a goal in the 76th minute with a 5-1 win here against Huddersfield Town. I think the way that the simulated games are going is showing just how strong this team is now. We have an incredible starting 11 here at Newcastle United that clearly, when simulating games, is proving to be too good for anyone else although we haven't had the most difficult of opposition thus far with regards to the simulated games I have to be honest the games against harder opposition I've been playing myself and obviously we lost to Arsenal but we were able to beat Manchester United and we have been able to uh, win a couple of others as well so uh, Manchester City included and Manchester United too so Fingers crossed we can continue in that vein. The biggest test is going to be when we face Liverpool, I believe that's next month. Indeed it is. Liverpool, Juventus and Chelsea probably going to be the three games that I play next month. December is going to be a huge, huge month for the outlook of the season. If we can close the gap on Liverpool, then, you know, who knows what the season as a whole could hold with regards to trophy uh winnings but we'll stoke rapid vienna and then everton and we'll go and play the first game of those three now do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed if you're enjoying of course and subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content but hopefully we can get three further victories and make it a full five from five sweep in today's episode all right stoke starting on up jack butland in goal stoke went down and have come back up again in this save bauer alvarez martin zindi balo torre and the and Dai even, and Bula and Allen, Ince, Afobi, and Akwonkwo. If I, obviously, Stoke are in the championship in real life. I believe they've come up, gone down, and come up again in this save. Although I might be mistaken. If I am, do feel free to correct me. But I'd like to think it should be a pretty straightforward three points. As should almost any game we play be this season, in fairness. We have the starting 11 to challenge on all fronts. And I would very much like to think that we can challenge on all fronts. Yeah, right. out to Ince. Picked off nicely by Akanji. Back in position quickly with that extra pace that he's got. Very handy to have at least one centre-back with a little bit of acceleration and sprint speed in a straight line. Lozano will look here for Rashford, who has acceleration and sprint speed any direction he likes. And that is 1-0 Newcastle. He scored a hat-trick against Wolves. And he's picking up where he left off last time round. 
It's Penikofovi. Nice ball through the gap to a quant quote. Early cross in. It's dangerous. And he got... Oh! Akanji, have a long, hard look at yourself, mate. It's 1-1. One, one. But how on earth has that reached Benikafobi? What's the defender doing? I've told him to clear it. He's jumped at it and let it go past him. I cannot even begin to tell you what has happened to a kanji there. We slow this down as it comes back in. We'll spin it around, play it on a little bit. All the defender's got to do here is just clear it as I've asked him to, and he just jumps next to it. Mate. Oh, come on. Marcoselo into Lozano. Philip Costa and Dombele. There's Rashford, and we're looking to get our lead back again rather than to go further in front. It's a lovely ball through to Vinicius. I'm not sure if he's onside or not. He's turned his side brilliantly in. Game's not really uh, not really on my side here today, is it? Lovely ball through. And... Tell me how that's not a penalty. Absolutely right. Okay, ref. If you say so, pal. Still 1-1. One, one. And on Bele. It's going to drop for Philip. It's going to drop for Rashford. Oh. The game's got it in for me today. Nikafobi. Power. Badu. Ints. A phobie. Ints again. Good ball in. Headed away by Julian Draxler actually back there. Hope that for Chucky. Tonelli and Bula will not keep up with me. If he does, I call bullshit. Inside there to Ndombele. Give that to Rashford. Again, poke it for Vinicius. He's onside here. Vinicius Junior turns, lays it inside. Maximilian Philip can't score. Neither can Marcus Rashford. Rashford will deliver the corner. I'm not too sure why he's on a set piece. Cancelo to Vinicius. Try and work some space to find room for someone to have a shot on goal. And Dombele, Nisi's now out of position. Nicely to Maximilian Phillip. A little bit of footwork, work some space. Turn, stand it into the middle. That was meant for Rashford. Never mind. Lead away. It's going to be 1 1 at half time here at the bet 3 6 5. I don't know how I'm not multiple goals in front. We'll see what we can do from the following set piece. Tracks are going off and the change being made. Oh, still made Rashford take the corner for some reason. And Dombele down there to Jamal Cell, back to Ndombele. There's Vinicius Junior. He's got the odd worldie in him. I think it was going in this way. Good angle for it. Was that? Or oh, it was certainly on target. And it's cannoned off the defender's face, off the woodwork, and out for a corner. Max does get to take this one. It's headed away. Akanji is well outside the box and he'd probably be my best chance of scoring a goal with a header from a set piece so I'm not sure why he's that far out. Maximilian Philip does brilliantly to get away from the defender but I still need a pass. Rashford is there waiting. Philip can't get to the loose ball and we continue to not have a second goal. Trying again and again and again to get this second goal to give myself three points here against Stoke City but they are standing firm. Tuffy down the line to Bauer. Good cross. The cell heads away. Is a table. Duffy back down the line to Bauer again into the middle. Away by Zal Cancelo this time. And Dombele has the pace to get to that. Rashford making moves ahead of him. We'll go this way looking for Vinicius, but the defender does well. Phoebe in there to Allen. Nicely done by Ruben Loftus Cheek. All of those passes were meant to go out towards the right hand side of my midfield. Oh, thank God he got to that. Been livid if he'd have come for a punch there and not made it and they'd have scored a second. Duffy. Back there to Bauer with the switch. So Cancelo heads up, but not away. Vinicius Junior. Oh, Max, react to the fucking football, mate. Just lets it skim off the top of his head and out for a Stoke City corner, which a quant quo will take. Looped in. That's poor. Ruben off to seat tries to get to it. Misses it. Duffy brings it down into the middle. Away, please. Right now, counter. No, how can you not pass that to his... Swear to God, this game 
today against Stoke. He's doing everything it can to wind me up. If that had gone in, I might well have just quit. Why is that so inaccurate? Jan Oblak, come on, mate. You're a 92 rated keeper. Beautiful opportunity for a counter attack. That automatically switched me to River Loft to cheek there, and I couldn't close the ball down. Oh, it does not want me to get three points against Stoke. I feel like the game has just completely screwed me over in this one. Chucky's in behind, however, and we might have the last hurrah here. Maximilian Phillip. Maximilian Phillip. Tell me how I've not got three points in that game. Because I can't tell you. I cannot tell you how Stoke has survived the full 90 minutes and only conceded one goal. That was unreal. The amount of fortune that was going in their favour. I can't believe it. I need Leicester to do a job over Liverpool now if they can, please. We have Rapid Vienna next. And with two games to go, we're already guaranteed progression through. We're not yet guaranteed top spot. So if we could do that with a win here in this second game of the episode, that would be superb. And to be honest, I could do with a win just for morale, for me personally, after that game against Stoke. Furious. Lost his cheek. Through there to Toby Mitchell. Rashford looking to race away. It's a foot race. It's... Why does the referee not want to give me fouls? I should have had a penalty in the last game. That's quite clearly a foul. And Marcus Rashford is in on goal there, 1v1. Not only is that a foul, that's arguably a red card as well. The game hates me today. It does not want me to win any games today, apparently. Rashford, oh, hacked away. How is that not a foul on Marcus Rashford? Please, for the love of God, tell me in the comment section because I can't figure it out for myself. I don't know what's going on in today's episode. Can dog be it. Through to Rashford. Nice turn. Good save. Finish wasn't quite as in the corner as I wanted it to be. A bit too central. Nice header by Loftus Sheet. Kept in by Chucky. Get it through there to Toby Mitchell, but it's taken a slight deflection and away from Rashford. Win this header, please, Philip. We could have another chance. Kennedy, inside to Kadobia, forward to Rashford. Take the touch to work the space. Chucky will keep going. Chucky will play it around the corner, but Cancelo gets nowhere near it. Oh, it's not quite falling for me for the second game in a row here. Don't do it to me again, game. I'm not sure I can take it. The Wagner, play it over the top to Kennedy. Knocks it down nicely, actually, to Kadobia. Mitchell has come short here. We'll look for Chucky. Not find him because it went to Rashford for some reason. Get that back there to Rubel off to Sheik. Scored a bang oh, in the Champions League against Juventus. Oh, and his left foot, that was pretty tame for the keeper. Max trying to physically outmuscle the defender, then does, and then gets outmuscled himself. Two minutes added on at the end of this first half, and I'll be honest, I can't wait for it to end. To have the chance to regroup and go again after, oh, after the break. I tackle the man, and he tackles it straight to another player. Thankfully, it doesn't... Little, li the build or lead to anything. I'm getting so frustrated. I can't even get my words out. Halfway through recording the episode, I could really do with it being completely the opposite to what's happened so far in the second half of the episode. Chucky. Tick and Dogbeer. I'll go to Toby Mitchell and then look for Rashford. It's a nice ball, actually, and Rashford's accelerated onto it well. We'll turn inside. Marcus Rashford will lay that back. And Jeffrey can dog be out, finds the space. If I'd have taken that first time, probably wouldn't have scored. But able to take a touch, shift it onto his left for a better goal scoring opportunity. And that composure from Kondogbia there. So if I hit this first time, it probably cannons off the defender that's right in front of me, that number 39. But by shifting it just that extra half second to find that space, that gives us the goal. Needed to have that extra composure there because it's been. Really frustrating episode so far with regards to on-field performances and on-field antics and the way things have transpired. But we are finally in front here against Rapid Vienna. And I hope to God we don't end up conceding the same way we did against Stoke. We can actually hold on to the lead this time around or even maybe score a second goal. Mitchell looking for Chucky. Poor ball. Oh, Chucky's won it back anyway, so he doesn't really care. Rashford. Toby Mitchell... Oh, Toby! Oh, Toby! Kennedy. I'm watching it. Oh, that's a big ping. It's a good ping, too. Cancelo's done brilliantly there. 
Pisano quickly inside to Kondogbia. Helbo on his way to Ruben Loftus cheek. And we'll just try and drive forward here and put them under pressure. Rashford is there. Chucky is the obvious ball. And we'll turn inside. Chucky Lozano. Well blocked. Ten minutes to go. Still haven't been able to find that second goal. We weren't able to do it against Stoke either. The team are free scoring in the simulated games. And I have had it be particularly against me with regards to the rub of the green in both this game and the one against Stoke. One goal against Stoke so far. One goal here against Rapagena as well. But on this occasion, one goal might be enough. Kennedy through to Rashford. Back inside there to Kennedy. Looking for Rashford again. It's good football. Lots of runners around me. Ruben loftus is available in the middle. We'll have that foul, thank you. A yellow card for the Rapid Vienna man. Schobersberger. He's been their best player by a margin, Schobersberger, to be fair. Absolutely superb for them throughout the game. Max will lay that inside there to Jamal Lassell. There's Kennedy. Oh, it was Ruben loftus -Sheik. There's Ruben loftus -Sheik. Trying to do it again in the Champions League in the last minute from well outside the area, but this occasion not able to do it. But we are going to get the victory here. I would presume Juventus have beaten Besiktas as they've won every game so far that isn't against me, and we've done the same, won every game that isn't against them. So it, I imagine it's going to be a straight shootout between ourselves and Juventus in tomorrow's episode for who's going to win the league. The league. Who's going to win? I guess it is kind of a mini league. Who's going to win the group? Absolute domination from us. I just can't score more than one goal in a game at the minute for some reason. Real Madrid won, Lokomotiv Moscow won. Besiktas hosts Juventus. But we'll head now into game number three. This is against Everton, who are currently third in the league and right behind us. Jordan Pickford in goal for Everton, as expected. Connolly, Diaz, Yeri Mina, Yeri Mina and Tierney. Just a kind of game to Kure holding as they tend to have recently. Walcott, Davies and Richarlison with Santi Mina up top maybe. Yes. Santi and Yeri in there again. The third in the league for a reason, Everton. They've challenged at the top for Champions League spots every season, Everton. So you know they're good. We're just going to have to deal with it and hopefully see them off. But cross to Cancelo. Draxler again. Philip. I see the run being made by Ndombele there. Vinicius. He's in. Oh, the pass took an ace to reach him, but he's been able to find his way back inside. I did make a real mess of that chance. You're right, Martin Tyler. I really should have done better there. Never mind. Santi Mina to Adrissa Garnage. Back to Yeri Mina. Over the top looking for the runner with Charlison. Jao Cancelo does brilliantly. Chucky, I see Ndombele in there. I poke that for Rashford. Lovely ball. Marcus Rashford, he might be on his left, but... Why has he tried to tackle? I've pressed B to shoot as the ball bobbles free and he's tried to tackle thin air. Vinicius on the corner. Headed away well by Ruben Diaz. Why has Rashford tried to tackle thin air when the ball's right there waiting to be shot on goal? Doesn't make any sense. Chucky! Goal! What a finish on his left foot. I wasn't confident, but I didn't have any other option but to hit it. Pretty glad I did now. Lovely finish from Chucky Lozano. A lot of bodies there in the middle, but just opens up for him enough. It's not the best of technique on the left foot. He just kind of stood there and planted a leg and swung at it, but it's flown into the top corner. I'll take it. 1 0 Newcastle. Free kick for Everton. We've had 60% possession in this game. I think that's the main reason why we're still in front. Driven hard, but wide from the centre back, Ruben Diaz. Everton haven't had enough of the ball to really make an impact. They just said in commentary as well that they've drawn their last three games. And if we can get a second sooner rather than later, we can assure that it's going to be... Oh, what a challenge. We saw that it's going to be just... Oh, what a save. Just their last three and not make it four in a row. I'm trying my best to try and get a second goal here. But for the third game in a row, I can't seem to get it. Trying desperately to get a second goal. Just to finish the team off. It won't happen. 1-0 at the break. Davis to Serenity Mina. To Tom Davis again. Perfect start for Everton to the second half. They're back level. Working the ball about nicely on the edge of the box. And it just opened up there. 
All Black got something on it, but couldn't get enough on it to divert it wide. We couldn't get a second against Stoke. We only got a draw. We couldn't get a second against Rapid Vienna, but thankfully it didn't matter because we still got the win. I'm going to need a second here if we're going to get three points against Everton. Oh, Maximilian Phillips! Not again. I really hope that when I edit all the highlights together, you guys can see just how unlucky I've been in front of goal in today's episode. I dropped two points against Stoke when I really should have gotten all three. Thankfully, we got the win against Rapid Vienna. I can't quite believe, again, that I haven't gotten a second goal here against Everton. Richarlison in the box. Jao Cancelo tackles. I was half waiting for a penalty to be given to Everton there. This has been my luck so far in today. Rashford ignored the first ball, but he's quick there with the interception for the second. If only he had shown the same reactions to the pass that was actually intended for him. Give that to Maximilian Phillip. Rashford will go again. Cut that back there to Draxler, through to Brasford, dink it over the keeper, but it's not quite high enough. Chucky, inside to Ndombele, Philip over the top looking for Vinicius. And Vinicius Jr. is in behind, he gets it under control, he lays it into the middle, Rashford, Pickford saves. It still won't go in. I might well have the worst luck in the world right now whatever happened to a bit of christmas fortune christmas has passed and it seems so is my luck in front of goal free kick for everton santi mina's just gonna dink it in and flicked on i had me worried for a moment but it went wide santi mina around the corner looking for tom davis and he's on his own in the middle there still santi mina no one tracked the run max's attempted clearance went straight <laughs> Santi Mina, here's Ndombele, out to Vinicius, on the counter here, 10 minutes to go now, nice turn from Vinicius, we'll look for Rashford, we'll find him, need to run the re outside of me, oh, make a run, Ruben, make a forward run, Ndombele, out to Vinicius, lay that back to Ruben to cheek Ruben, oh, fuck, Ndombele picks up the loose ball, Here's Philip Max into Vinicius Junior. Rashford is there. Toby Mitchell is also there. Decore tracks back to get an interception in. There's Bernard. Just a random long ball and it finds him. And at the back post is Richarlison. And of course... All my Christmas cheer has disappeared. Everton 2, Newcastle 1. Just a random hacked ball forward. I don't know where my defenders are or what Akanji's doing. Good header by Cancelo. It's going to be full time, isn't it? Oh, oh. A 2-1 defeat to Everton. My fortune in front of goal has been non-existent. In all three games that I've played in today's episode... Liverpool lose, though, as well, thankfully. There goes their unbeaten record. But my God. Aaron Wan-Bissaka wants to play a little bit more. <sighs> deary, deary me. Oh, what's gone on in front of goal today? Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments, because I have absolutely zero idea. 68 rated now for Diogo Neves. He's getting better. He's getting better. 61 rated for Felipe Silvera. Still growing well in the youth setup. Let's have a look at the league table then. Well, have a look quickly at December. Still going to play Juventus, Liverpool, and Chelsea, I think, in this month. But, my God. My God. In the Premier League, we are still second. Eight points by Liverpool. It could have been five had we beaten Everton, who've drawn eight of their. 14 games so far, but now 1-6. And then three points behind us. Liverpool had, until that defeat on match day 14, won all but one of their games. 14, or 13 played, 12-1. Now they've drawn one and lost one. It's just my luck as well. As soon as Liverpool start dropping points, I start doing the same. Right, we're less than an hour and a half away from Christmas Eve as I'm recording this, so... 
all the Christmas cheer has disappeared from me right now after that episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching though. It was, I'm sure it was still entertaining for you. Drop the video a like if you did enjoy. Make sure you sub to the channel too to, so you don't miss out on any more of this series. The My Players here. Is there anything else that's coming new to the channel as well? But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.